What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Windows 10. And what we're going to be doing is that uh, we're going to be creating a map drive to a network drive. And so how we do that is let's come over here to start. And I've got my network showing. If you do not see your network, come over here, right-click on your taskbar, go to Properties, and then come over here to your Start menu, choose Customize and choose network within your customized panel and then you will be able to come over here and click on network so what I'm going to do is that I want to come over here to my server and I want to connect on to my H drive my H drive is my music drive so I want to actually have that as a shared drive so that I can access it a little bit more quicker within my my computer or this computer so how you create a map drive is that you right click on the drive and you simply go down to map network drive and then you choose what drive that you want to connect it to i'm going to connect it to drive z however right before we do this one thing that we do want to do it really all depends on how big your hard drive is and also how much information is on the drive that you're getting ready to create the map network drive to okay before we do this we want to check two things number one how much drive space do you have whenever you create a map drive it automatically caches that to where you can work with them offline okay if you got a lot of drive space i'm talking terabytes and you're getting ready to map a drive that's within 100 gigs or more then you pretty much will not have a problem you can leave things well enough alone however if you're dealing with a lower drive space like let's take a look at mine i've only got 19.4 gigabytes free on 107 gig c drive and so i do not have that type of drive space in order to allow it to sync and so what we're going to do is that we're going to come down and we're going to type in whoops manage offline okay we're going to choose or in my case i'm going to choose to disable offline files okay so offline files is disabled but active restart to the computer to deactivate offline files click ok so basically what i would need to do before i do this is that i need to restart the computer because if i go ahead and do it now then it's going to go ahead and start syncing it right now immediately and so if you've got very little drive space left and you're getting ready to map to a big drive then you want to go ahead and reboot your computer before you do this so that's what we're going to do now we're going to reboot the computer and then we're going to come right back and we're going to complete the mapping of our network drive okay and now that we are back up we're going to right click up select it then right click and choose map network drive and now we're going to reconnect at sign in that means that every single time that you boot up your computer and you log in it will reconnect that drive so let's go ahead and click on finish and now it has grabbed a hold of it so when we come over to this pc we have our network drive sitting right here uh, as you can tell there's 92 gigs free out of 195 so it's just barely below 100 gigs of use space so i did not want all of that trying to feed into my c drive so that is how you map a network drive and also set it up to where it does not cache it on your local drive if you do not want it now like i said if you have a terabyte or a couple of terabytes sitting on your c drive then by all means go ahead and cache it do it especially if you're dealing with a laptop and you're going to take your information out on the road with you then you definitely want a lot of space sitting on your drive that way you can allow it to cache it into your system so that you can actually take that with you okay wayne Byrne here with darkfix.net inside of windows 10 creating map drives y'all have a good one now